Hey guys, how you doing? So today's tutorial is going to be about putting some blues in the shadow, bringing, bringing everything down, tying everything together. You've created this great photo. Now we're going to put a bit of blues in the shadows, kind of put some yellows into the highlights and just kind of tie the whole image together, make it a bit more. Um, some people call it cinematic. I like just saying that put some blues in the shadows. So we're going to turn this image into that. And here's some few more examples of what we're going to do. It's a pretty straightforward. We're going to use the tone curve um, and yeah, curves for the win every single time. So come, cool. let's go. All right, guys. So here we are in Lightroom. Uh, this is a image I took back in 2017 of the amazing Andrea. Uh, yeah. Just did walked around. This is the raw photo that came out of the uh, camera. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just walking around the local suburbs, bloody just doing a few modeling sessions, shoots. That was pretty cool fun. Um, yeah, so just gonna, for this image here, we're just going to do a quick edit. So the exposure is pretty good. I'm just gonna bring it up a fraction. Um, gonna do the contrast levels. So what we're doing now is affecting the entire image. So that's what I call my primary adjustments. Uh, bring my highlights down a little bit. There we go. Um, we're gonna bring our shadows down. Just give it a bit of more contrast. There we go. Um, you bring our whites up a little bit. There we go, you know, I don't mind that even. Bring our blacks down. There we go. Um, go into texture, I love getting a bit of texture, not too much, it's pretty, pretty dangerous tool if you go too hard, actually, see, bang, oh my god, the face looks terrible, yeah, so yeah, don't put too much in there, especially on the primary adjustments, you just want a little bit. All right, clarity, uh, always have a bit of clarity, uh, I might actually come back a little bit, actually, yeah, give it a bit of a soft glow, there we go, beautiful. Dehaze, again, powerful tool, I'll probably do it, give it a little. Give a little. Um, uh, this image here, it's probably a little oversaturated for my liking at the moment, so I'm just gonna bring it down. I'll use the vibrance just to take the edge off the coloring. Uh, there we go, beautiful. All right, sweet. Okay, so we're up to the tone curve bit. Curves are very powerful. They can do almost anything you wanna do. Uh, so, what well, I'm just gonna show you this effect by putting the blues in the shadows and modifying the, the color curves and stuff like that. So, but if you wanna learn more, there is so many great tutorials out there. So jump online, work them out. Um, uh, Aaron Nace over at Flern, he's the king of Photoshop. Curves in Photoshop, same thing everywhere. Curves are the same, no matter what. So yeah, use them. They're, they're, they're an extremely powerful tool and practice. Um, if, you, if you make a mistake, just press the reset button. It's all sweet, right? Hmm. Anyway, back to it. So we're gonna use the tone curves to, to put some blues in the shadow. Gotta love that. So simply go into the blue section of the tone curve. So this controls the blues in the highlights or the shadows of the different areas of the image. So what I normally do, how I do it, I do my selection tool. I go to the area that I want to start the curve. So anything below that will bring the blues into the shadows. So it's about here. And if you see, I'm selecting in the, in the area that I'm thinking of. And then in the tone curve, you can see that it highlights the area in the curve that affects it. So I'm just gonna click my button there. And then that locks in a point on my curve. Now, what I normally like doing then is just grabbing that point and just bringing it a little bit further away from that edge. And then what I do is I grab the bottom curve, the bottom point, and I just lift it. And what that does is I lift, so I'm adding blue into the shadow areas of the image. Now, as you bring it up, you go all the way up, for example, kind of overdoes it, right? And you go, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, always, you always overdo it the first time. So you go up, you go, oh yeah, that's a bit too much. And then you come back down and then you kind of select it and you go, all right, that's pretty cool. Next thing I do after I've chosen the blue levels that I kind of like from the initial set 
It affects the skin tones in particular for a portrait, but it adds uh, a little bit more yellow into the uh, mid-tones and the highlights. So that may work, it may not work depending on your image, but rule of thumb is you always grab that next point you've already added and you kind of bring it up the line a little bit and you can bring it up and down to your heart's content until you find what works for you. I kind of think about there works for me. Yeah, and then I go back to the first point and then I'll just bring the curve up a little bit and just find that blue. Find the blue that works for you. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, so we do a before and after. Gold. Uh, a few other examples. So I'm gonna go a little bit more quickly now for all these other examples. Let's go to this guy first. Beautiful wedding photo. Um, this is out of camera. So again, we'll just do the, the whole kind of go down the list here. Let's get a bit of contrast going. Let's turn the highlights up a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that, that's kind of cool. Bringing the shadows up. Let's bring the whites down a little bit to keep the detail in that highlight area. Um, let's bring, have a look at our blacks. Probably don't need to do too much on the blacks, so we'll reset them. Love a bit of texture. This image is gonna love some texture. So yeah, let's dump that in there. Um, let's turn the clarity up. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's looking great. A uh, bit of dehaze. Yeah, just to, just to give that little top corner section a bit of a clean. Right, so there's our primaries done. We're just gonna go to and do a quick secondaries edit. So I'm just gonna add some exposure into the couple down in here. They're a little bit dark on the front. So I'm just gonna do a secondary, it's just gonna add a little bit of exposure there. So again, I'm on my brush at full four stops positive, but my flow on my brush is at 20%. So uh, I can just paint over them like that, just brighten them up a bit, get the reflections up a little bit as well. Just paint the background a fraction so it kind of gives it a nice little halo. Make it a bigger brush, makes it a little bit more effective. It bleeds out really nicely. And we'll just paint them on a little bit more. There we go, beautiful. So uh, again, I'm just gonna do my select up here on this little bullseye find the shadow or the bright or dark points that I think that I'll be working with. I kind of want these areas bleeding into shadow. So probably about there. There's our little point on the, on the histogram and our tone curve. Grab the bottom bar and then we just dial it up. Oh, way too much. So we just come back a little bit. Great. Grab our middle point. So we can affect our highlights and our mid-tones. We kind of move it nice and gently to see the effect that we have. Always looking at our subject to make sure we don't change the colors too much for the subject. I mean, there we go, I think that's kind of cool. Now we'll just grab the first point again and we're gonna lift the, lift the blues in the darks just until it's too much, then we're gonna dial it back a little bit. Beautiful. Now we turn that on and off, we can get a before and after. And you can see adding some blues in the shadow just kind of ties the whole image together. It gives that extra level of professionalism. I'm gonna push on real quick now. A uh, few images that uh, don't need editing. So these are pre-edited, uh, lovely shot here, uh, lovely model. So we're not gonna edit any of this because it's a JPEG finished photo. Go back into our curves. Grab our selection. I want all the backgrounds to have some blues. So as you can see, we'll probably go into about there. Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll just bring that back up a little bit. Grab our bottom line, bring it up till we see the blues and the shadows. Can't see it too much here, but that's good. Never go, never go above the line. Uh, See how the curve is now dipping down? Never do that for this effect. Always make sure the curve is arcing up. And if you don't get the effect that you want, you just grab your center point because you've done your, uh, haven't done your selection, the initial selections right. Look back to make sure the colorings, you're not putting too much yellows in. Bring the line out a little bit more. There you go, I kind of like that. 
go back to your first point again and just lift the shadows. There we go, got some blues in the shadows and that's working really a lot better now. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, it's probably a bit too much, so I'm just gonna dial back and we turn it on and off, bang. Beautiful. It just ties it all together. All that, yeah, it looks so much better with that little bit of blues in the shadow. All right, so this one, same again. We just go through the same process. I want to be about freaking there. So it's about the middle. I'm just going to bring up the blues to too much. We just bring it back a fraction. We adjust the center point until it looks half decent. Yeah, don't mind that. Uh, for this one, again, now, we can play with the curves, it's great. Same same process, but just do it a bit differently. So I'm gonna jump in the reds, and I'm gonna try and add a little bit more cyan into the blues, uh, into the shadows, and make the shadows a little bit bluer, but more cyan blue. Um, so that's fine again. So we just do my selections again, go, all right, we'll go about friggin' there, beautiful. Now, instead of going up, we're gonna bring across and now you're getting you can see we're getting uh, getting that lovely cyan dump into the background so we've got blues and cyan moving in so you don't need too much and it gives it a great like effect we're still putting cools into the shadows it works awesome so yeah curves for the wind putting some blues in the shadows man i freaking love it uh, you can put whatever color you want in whatever region of the image that you want to. So it's all about experimenting, playing, finding your style, finding the way you like to do it. So, yeah. Keen to see what you come up with, guys. So, yeah, until next time. See you later. in whatever uh, brightness area of the...